Hi, it's Perdi here. In this video, I'm going to share with you some of my favorite Figma plugins, which I use almost daily. So let's get started. And I'm going to use as an example, this UI kit from Square UI, which I think it looks really, really nice. And let's go under plugins and I'm going to move myself right here on the right side. And the very first one, which is one of my top favorites of all time is Content Reel. And the reason why I like this plugin so much is that it enables you to have uh, almost like filler content uh, for pretty much anything that you can uh, think of. So let's zoom in and uh, say that we need uh, to change uh, these texts uh, all at once. Uh, and uh, let's change them to like full name. You can easily do that by clicking on the full name section. You can even pick and choose the different uh, uh, names uh, over here so you can easily go like very fast uh, and uh, of course this is going to have uh, all sorts uh, of different other text options such as you know date uh, phone numbers uh, currency and whatnot so this is really helpful uh, whenever you're creating a design from scratch uh, and uh, you need uh, some uh, filler content and uh, now let's uh, actually uh, showcase another really useful feature which i use pretty much all the time when it comes to content reel and that is uh, using uh, the profile pictures from these sets and uh, as you can see you can uh, similarly to what you can do with uh, the text uh, you can select and pick and choose uh, the different photos based on what you prefer. So really helpful. Uh, they have like all sorts of different sets with their own themes and uh, peculiarities. And uh, yeah, overall, this is uh, just a, such a cool content uh, uh, generator. Uh, they also have icons, which uh, personally I don't use uh, all that much, but uh, I mean, you can definitely consider doing that. Uh, as well as uh, you know other uh, content which you can create uh, yourself. But again, I'm not. Uh, uh, I'm just using it mainly for those two features, and those are huge time savers. Now, just before we move on to the very next one, I want to remind you that if you're looking to become a UI UX or web designer, or you are looking to improve upon your career, I recently launched a massive discount on pretty much all of my courses, which are over 40 hours of content going through how to get started in UI UX design, design theory, uh, all of the major design softwares and uh, even all my techniques to find and sell to high ticket uh, design clients. And it's all available for just nine bucks. So you can uh, have a look at, at that if you're interested in uh, leveling up your design career. But now let's move back to the plugins. And the very next one, which I love using is Unsplash. And Unsplash, if you're already familiar with the site is essentially uh, a website uh, where you have royalty free uh, images, which in my personal opinion are some of the top ones uh, out there out of all the royalty free sites. Uh, and uh, essentially you can select uh, one of these uh, and uh, you can upload them directly into Figma. So it just takes a lot uh, of less time than going on nasplash.com on the website, downloading, finding it in your downloads folder, bringing it into Figma. It's uh, almost like a, a compressed version of uh, Unsplash uh, available at uh, any given moment. So really useful. You have the search feature, you have some, uh, some of these uh, presets. Uh, uh, search suggestions, so really, really helpful. Now, the next one is uh, UI Faces, which is very similar to the content reel feature. And uh, the reason why I added it uh, over here is because still uh, sometimes I can find like, you know, faces that uh, I want uh, from the content reel. I just want to mix things up or be more granular when it comes to things like age. Uh, see that I'm building a, a website or an app for a very specific target demographic. Uh, I can easily go here and go under apply avatars and I can uh, sort uh, some very specific uh, uh, avatars directly from here. So just a nice uh, add-on uh, whenever it's uh, needed. But for the most part, I would say Content Reel is like my, my go-to. Now, the very next uh, plugin, which uh, I really like, is uh, from uh, uh, my friend at Alice Graphics, uh, and uh, it's uh, Mockup. So 
it's uh, essentially a plugin which, uh, as the name suggests, uh, is going to enable you to have all sorts of different mockups. Uh, and of course, uh, during the video, the connection of my Magic Mouse got lost, but thankfully I'm on the MacBook. So yeah, we're going to see here in just a moment, as uh, uh, you can see all sorts of different mockups which you can leverage for your design projects. And you can simply select uh, one. So for example, this one is the MacBook Air. And uh, basically uh, you can just paste it in the canvas I think this one is, is a pro resource, so I can't uh, uh, really do that now. But if uh, yeah, if you just want like the free ones, there have like plenty of uh, of free resources. But yeah, when it comes to mockups, pretty much like my main resource right now. And uh, yeah, just really, really cool. Another one which is really helpful is uh, vector logos because you know sometimes you need uh, all sorts of different logos from established companies. Uh, and uh, you don't want to go on Google and do the same, uh, you know, uh, copy and paste job uh, each and every time. So you can simply go here, for example, search for IKEA, and uh, you're going to find uh, uh, all of the vet vector logos already. Because also another issue of going on Google is that a lot of the times you find like low res PNGs and you know fake transparencies with all those squares that which aren't like really there. So these ones are legit uh, vectors each and every time you search. And the library is huge. Like I pretty much find all of the major brands uh, uh, like 99% of the time. So yeah, uh, definitely a game changer in those regards. And uh, yeah, really, really helpful uh, plugin. So that's uh, pretty much it uh, for this video. Hope it was helpful. And uh, I'm curious to hear about uh, your uh, top uh, choice when it comes to plugins. So feel free to leave a comment below and uh, help us out uh, in the community so we can level up uh, uh, together in our design journey. This is uh, pretty much it and I'll see you in the very next video.